We accomplished our goal, uh, no matter the outcome of the race. I think it was a, a great event, and, and that's what we have to have. That's what people want to be a part of. So you heard from Kevin on uh, why he came out today and the impact that he's had on this race and this racing community. He talked a little bit about his finish. He was in first place, as we mentioned, for 132 laps before being bumped by Derek Kraus. That dropped him about eight or nine spots. Harvick clawed his way back into fourth place. Here's what he had to say about the finish. I don't think that you could have had me leave here with a bad taste in my mouth. You know, I think it's just one of those events that that is good for for everybody. You always want to win, but in the end, this is this is really about those guys, things that that they need to do to to get the series better and, and promoting a the racetrack. There's thousands of people that probably haven't been to a race since Mason Marin closed that were here tonight. So a lot of fun. You just want to race headlined by Kevin Harvick. What does that mean to you? Yeah, I mean, it's really good to race against him. It's a big learning curve. I mean, I rode behind him, him and Cole, and I learned a lot just from riding behind them. And that's what I think helped me later stages in the race. I kind of held, laid back and saved myself a little bit better than they did. So Derek Krause, your winner, Derek Thorne, a Bakersfield native, finished in second place. Meanwhile, Harvick, he's going to try and put this finish behind him. He's got that big NASCAR Cup Series race where he'll look to try and make it four straight wins this Sunday in Fontana. For now, live at Curtin Royce Race, Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC Sports.